season a cast iron skillet. We've never done this before. Um, I've already scrubbed this out once. I don't know if you can see it in there. So this was gifted to us. I don't know by who Rachel might know. Anyway, it's been sitting in our garage. It looked like it had something on it. I don't know if it was burger or something over a campfire was used for life, whatever. Anyway, uh, I've tried to scrub it out once. I'm going to scrub it one more time and then we're going to try to season it. We're going to do our best to season it. So first time trying this, here we go. And we are using to um, clean it. What are we using, babe? What's that called? I am using steel wool. Yeah, steel wool. We're working on it. everybody um so the seasoning of our cast iron skillet is finally done mm -hmm. <laughs> and we made a totally rookie mistake but before we tell you about that let's show you the finished product of seasoning the cast iron skillet james and i think it took seven sessions in the oven total yeah seven, seven or eight. half hour sessions oiled in the oven so let us show you yep. the oven um i'm sorry the oil we ended up using because we started with avocado oil, which works fine, 
But then we read that this stuff, grapeseed oil, is recommended specifically for cast iron because it has a higher heat tolerance. Um, and we actually found that it smoked more than the avocado oil. Yeah. However, it created a nicer finish. So use grapeseed oil. Apparently, the tiny little seeds inside of grapes are pressed to make oil. Who knew? That boggles my mind. Anyway, tell them about our rookie mistake. So online, it just says to, you know, just wipe it out. Do not just wipe it out. Uh, rinse out your skillet. Use a uh, steel wool pad I have right here. Steel wool. We ordered that one, that package from walmart.com, but you can buy them anywhere. Yeah, Walmart, Target, Amazon, yeah. And um, just you rinse it out, use steel wool. And you want and, a uh, fine grade steel wool. Yes. And then wipe it out real good and uh, rinse it out. And then finish it by just taking a towel and just wiping it out. And you just can make see sure there's nice no water. You don't want any water left in it, otherwise it'll begin to rust all over again, and you have to do it again. So make sure, make sure that it is dry when you're done. Now we knew that you aren't really supposed to submerge these in soap and water um, after the initial canning, like just as maintenance, you're not supposed to. But for some reason, we like you still were. Like, I didn't. I didn't submerge it. I took the rag and wrung it out and just wipe out. But there was yeah. apparently enough soap. In that you the were rag, stripping it. Even though I rinsed it out, wrung it out, it was still stripping the paint. Yeah, it was still stripping it. So, so once we figured out that, and we oiled it again and seasoned it in the oven at 450 degrees for 30 minutes again. I think I did it three more times after that. We knew then this, the skillet was ready. So as yep. you saw, um, or will see in this clip, we fried eggs in it, and for the first time, they did not stick. They came out beautifully and we Gorgeous. really like the cast iron because it cooks and heats it quickly and evenly far better than any pan i have ever used so yes. we are hooked on cast iron now Absolutely. we only have one cast iron skillet um right now so i guess my in-laws are going to be giving us or i should say gifting us um their set and we'll have to go through this process again and we'll season it and all of that but now we know Thank what you. to do and it should come out like even better because I think theirs is even better condition than this one was yeah. to start with. Um, one last thing are the little pot holder things. Yes. My uh, mother in law got this for us um, a couple years ago and she has two of them really cute. If you look on the inside, <coughs> they're lined with that, like, that silver meshy stuff, so it's very, very heat resistant. And I didn't really know what I was going to do with them when she got them for us. It was one of those things that was like you had a feeling not to like give it away or throw it away you're like i'm gonna use this i just don't know when well these, this is it this is perfect this is exactly what it was meant for because none of my pans really the handles never really got hot and i was never really somebody that took a stove top and then stuck it in the oven right until now so very thankful for these little things and i believe she got these in ohio's amish country in um, holmes county ohio they probably sell these in any like store out there but if you don't live near Amish country, I'm sure you could order these on Amazon. I'll try to link some below in the subscription box. Cool beans. And if you're wondering what inspired our sudden like desire to cast iron, it is actually my favorite YouTube channel. And I don't care if you ditch us and go watch her because she's so cool. It is Farmhouse on Boom. And it's snowing again. Um, <laughs> good night, everybody. God bless. <laughs>